Okay, I'm going to show you the quickest way that I know how to make a chili verde, pork chili verde, that is. And it's fairly inexpensive. It's fairly quick because I'm going to use these cans. If I wanted to go fresh, I'd go tomatillos, and it'd be a long, dragged-out process and probably about a 20-minute video. So let's make it quick by just showing you that we're going to go with a uh, pork uh, slab here. Uh, it's carnitas. It's only, as you can see, 524 is what I paid for it. So fairly inexpensive. It's uh, almost uh, three pounds worth, so that's not bad at all. I just go with the green chili enchilada sauce and a can of green chilies, of course an onion, and for some more kick, I'm going to just throw in one good size jalapeno. First thing I'm going to do is dice all this up, cans on the stove, uh, split this all up into pieces the size that I want, good chunks of this, and we'll just combine it on the stove and then it just cooks for hours. There I've uh, diced up the onion and that jalapeno pepper. Now I go with a julian size for this so it can spread out a little more evenly because it's a hot pepper and I've got to feed my girls and we don't want it that hot, but uh, just a little bit of a kick so it spreads evenly throughout the entire verde. The onion I go with thicker chunks, quarter inch to, to uh, half inch size pieces here, okay? Now what I'm going to do now is take this to the, uh, the skillet Throw down a little bit of canola oil, and then we'll uh, sear this just a little bit, a little bit of a saute, and then we'll start throwing in the sauces. Okay, now just to show you how easy this is, I'm actually going to go ahead and go with olive oil instead of canola oil, just because I kind of like it better. It's a little more of a healthy choice. This pan's already hot. You always want to start with a hot pan. Now, a lot of times you throw some garlic in there, but you know what? The garlic is already in this can green chili enchilada sauce, so I ain't going to worry about it. So all we need to do is saute this stuff here just a little bit, and then we'll throw in that sauce over the top of it after just a few minutes, and then we'll get going on the meat. There we go, good enough. It's just been a few minutes. Now let's go ahead and dump the sauce. Now I don't want this bubbling and boiling all over the stove and making a huge mess. So right now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the heat down uh, just a little below medium here because all I need is the heat to blend here for just a minute while I uh, chop up the uh, pork and uh, put it here in the sauce. So give this a good stir. Make sure it's all incorporated. No big deal. Now off to the pork. Now as you can see here, I've got some gorgeous pork pieces. I did not chop them up like this. This is how I took them straight out of the package. They're already in these pieces, okay? But what we want to do is make it more uniform and more bite-sized. So as you can see, there's some fat on here, but not enough for you to have to go through and trim them. And with Mexican food, that's going to add a lot of flavor to your verde, so you want to leave it on there. And as you can see, I mean, it's, it's really not much anyway. It's just, it's not a layer all the way through that. See, there's meat on the other side. It's just barely skimming the surface of these pieces, okay? So they're fairly clean, very nice portions. So I'm going to chop these up to bite-sized pieces, and we'll go from there. Okay, now you've got it all portioned out, all bite-sized. I did eliminate some of the fat because as I'm cutting through this, I'm going to come across a piece every once in a while that's just solid fat, and I'm not about to cook that because nobody wants to eat just a big old chunk of fat, okay? So you are going to separate a little bit, but what I'm saying is don't clean it to the point where that's all you've got because it really just helps out with the flavor. As you can see, the majority here is just uh, good bite-sized chunks of meat, okay? Now we're going to take all this to the stove. We're going to go ahead and throw it in with all that verde. Okay, here we are to the stove. As you can see, this has been boiling, and it only took me about five, six minutes to chop up all this meat like this. Make sure you have a good knife, by the way, otherwise it's going to take you like 10, 15 minutes. It's going to be a big old pain in the butt. But anyway, all we're going to do is just add the meat. Do 
give it a good stir. Make sure the meat's got a good coat evenly all over so it can cook. And uh, we'll just throw the lid on it and check on it every once in a while. This is the this is the time consuming process here because now it's got to cook to get tender and it's going to take a couple hours. At least the way I like it. If you like your meat chewy, then you know you can really actually just go to town on this within a half an hour, but that's not what we're about here. We like this birdie nice and soft where it just pretty much melts in your mouth when you take each bite with your tortillas, your burritos, whatever you want to do with this sauce. Get this evenly stirred here. So now everything's evenly incorporated in there. We're going to throw on the lid. Now be careful because this thing cooks with the lid on it. That pork is going to secrete and it's going to let out a lot of juice, a lot of flavor. You're going to get some more liquid in there. So you make sure that it doesn't boil out over the sides, okay? And uh, right there at the end, if you want, you can even take the lid off and uh, go with reduction so it can simmer down a little bit. But uh, from here on out, we're going to wait uh, about an hour and a half to two hours here at cooking time. But in the meantime, we're going to come back and figure out if we check it, stir a little bit, Make sure that pork's not cooking on the bottom. And you're going to go with a medium low heat. Okay? Just got it barely under medium there. Medium low is what you want. Okay, let me show you what happens right here at a half an hour into this sauce. Okay? Like I said and mentioned before, if you wanted it a little bit chewy, you wanted it tough, and you don't mind eating it sooner than later, you know, now's a good time to get into it, but the meat is going to be tough. But you also see here that the consistency has really thinned out because of the juice that was in the pork before we started has finally cooked out and made this uh, entire enchilada sauce, this green chili sauce that we're using to make the verde, very, very thin. So if you want to eat it fairly quickly and you don't want to wait the duration that I'm telling you, which is two hours to soften up this meat, then you should at least keep the lid off of this and let the power of reduction thicken this up, okay? Because right now it really is soupy. It's very, very thin, okay? At this point, you would do that, but that's not what I'm interested in. I want that meat tender as can be, so we're going to put that lid back on it, and we're going to go over the next hour to another hour and a half direction to make sure this thing softens up. Okay, here we go. We're about an hour and a half into this. As you can see here, it's separated a bit. All I'm going to do is stir it, incorporate it in, make sure that uh, everything is really well balanced. And then what I'm going to do is leave the lid off here for the next 20 minutes or so here so I can uh, get it to thicken up here a little bit, use that power reduction. Doesn't need it a whole lot, but I'm going to go ahead and go with it for a few minutes here with the lid off. All right, there we have it. It's ready to go. You can see the consistency here. It is awesome. Pork chili verde. And just to prove to you that cooking time is worth it, let's just grab some pork out of here. Let me just show you this right here on this plate. With a spoon, I just press barely. See how it just falls apart? You just smash it. See that? Any piece of meat out of here. See, there's a good chunk. Look at this. Just falls apart with that spoon. See that? Nice and tender. That's exactly the way you want it. Now, I'm just going to serve it up on some rice here. Take a big old scoop of this. And uh, lower down. cheese and uh, let's do the sour cream can't go wrong with this poor chili verde it's the bomb